All right, now it's really important to look at your resource. We are not copying this exactly, but we really want to try to get a sense of the texture and the color, and especially where it gets dark, medium, and light. Okay, so we're going to zoom in on the meat. Really zoom in. And again, having it on your phone is great. If it's on your laptop, same thing. You can zoom in. I kind of see some dull browns. There's definitely some white. Those white sparks, we do last. Okay, the white acrylic paint will go on top of it. So it's going to be a lot of scrumbling, dark, and getting some light medium tones in there. I have some red and some brown and some black and some orange and some, uh, some of the ye uh, yellow ochre all ready to go so I can kind of scrumble and bump that background stuff. All right, here we go. So I'll do a little bit and then I'll do time lapse again. So what brush do I have? Here we go. So I'm going to barely tap it in some water and just wipe it off. And I'm going to use some black and the dark blue just to kind of cover up. Because the first coat, you can see, you can really see the, uh, the brush strokes. So I'm just going to kind of get another layer of paint on there and make sure it's nice and dark so it really covers the paper or it will cover the canvas when you do your big one. Many times that first blocked in um, coat won't completely, completely cover the canvas. Okay, so that's as far as I'll go over there. I'm going to get this part over here pretty dark, and then we'll start to put in some of the lighter colors. So I want to be careful to not bump into the cheese right there, but if I do, I can go right back over it. It's no problem. Again, when we do the lettuce, that this lettuce will kind of spark out there too. And we start to build that up. All right, I'm going to grab a little bit of black and just start to, again, I'm not painting the whole thing black. I'm just going to kind of get some bumps because the meat has that texture to it. A little bit over here too. Don't forget about this side piece of the meat over there. Again, I'm not going to do over here because all you have to do is half of it, so that's all I'm going to do in this video. I might finish it off later. I don't know. Let's see. I'm looking at the, the edge of the lettuce and see where I might be able to kind of cut into where the edge of the lettuce is a little more. But again, I don't have to be perfect with that right now. Okay, I'm not going to clean the brush out. All I'm going to do is wipe it out because it's okay to have some of that. Now I'm going to start to build up some lighter tones. So now I'm going to just take the brown. I'm going to, call me crazy, I'm going to put a little bit of red in there too. I just barely touched it with the red. Let's see, I zoomed in a little bit so you can see my palette. So I'm just going to start to tap and scrumble. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. Just kind of bumpity lump and tap and scrumble. A little bit of red, a little bit of brown. Maybe just tap it once on my palette. Just tap and scrumble. There's definitely some color, some of that neutral tone right up against the cheese. Just right up there. You'll see this start to come out the lighter it gets on camera. I can even start taking now some maybe some yellow ochre and even getting lighter in some places. There's a shadow under the, uh, the piece of cheese, so it's going to remain pretty dark up there. And look at your resource quite a bit. Under here, it stays pretty dark. But there's a pretty good... Oh, that's a piece of lettuce hanging out right there. Um, as I think of it, if you miss a little bump of a piece of lettuce or something, don't worry about it, you guys. Again, we're just getting the basics. Just if you miss a little detail, it's okay. Also, now is the time when you start doing the detailing, especially, is to start holding it farther back. Hold your painting farther back. 
I'm just kind of building up some of the lighter areas. Let me show you the photo again. Don't look at the white. Look at the little brownish tones behind it. That's what I'm starting to build up. And let's, I'm going to put in a little bit of the orange color, a little bit of red, and keep it neutral with the brown. And let's see, let's go a little bit lighter right in through here, a little bit lighter. It's maybe a little bit too light, so I'm going to add a little bit of the darker brown back on it. Maybe put a few dark marks right in there to give it some variety. Now I'm going to, this got kind of thick with paint. It might take a little bit to dry, I mean, 10 minutes. So I think I'm going to pause the video in just a second and let it dry. It's okay to blow dry this. Totally fine. Then I'll put some of the little white um, wiggles on top. Oh, what the heck. Let's see if it'll happen now. If it doesn't, I'll stop the video and let it dry. So I'm going to just grab pure white. Just pure white. And I'm just going to kind of tap and squiggle. And see, and just touch it lightly. Oh, there it is. Tap, squiggle. Try to be very kind of natural with it. Sometimes hold the brush farther back. And that will help get a super soft little touch. I think that's a little on the bright side, some of them. So I'm going to just take, this is a completely dry brush. I'm just going to kind of scrumble a little bit to tap down some of those really white sparks. Let's see, where did it go? Let's see, are there any over here? Oh yeah, there's a few over here. Got a little bit too bright right there, but I can put a little bit of dark stuff over that one. It's no problem at all. So just kind of wiggle tap, wiggle tap, wiggle tap. It stays pretty dark down here but there are a few little color tones down here. Ooh, that got too bright. Doesn't matter, I can put a little dark brown right over it. See, it's really flexible. I'm gonna put a little bit of black over that. And kind of make that disappear. I can, that dark one I did over here, I can make that look a little bit less obvious. And that's kind of done. Again, we're only doing half of it. So if you kind of look at the whole thing, don't look just right there. You have to stand back and look at the entire burger. You have to look at the whole thing. Okay, then it starts to look like shiny little meat down there. All right, next video will be the lettuce. Have fun.